Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Chirag Pandit, and this is like my project. I wanted to view this project uh, to the website. Now, this project is made up of uh, basically the core fundamentals of this project were been made in J2E or Java technologies, and the backend was been uh, described in MySQL, or I can say that the MySQL as a backend to this project. The project consists of basically a normal e-commerce website. Now this e-commerce website could be of, of for anybody. Right now this uh, commerce website has a bookstore web gallery or a bookstore type of such, such kind of thing. Now you can have bookstore or any of the website or products items for your requirements as you like. So it does not rep, uh, relies on any of this category. So if the core fundamentals or features of the project would be like, uh, if you search uh, an item over here, like if you say Assassin's Creed, so this like the all the results, upcoming results would be pop up right below the screen. So you can just view this product uh, by clicking on this product. So Assassin's Creed 3 and then you be moving on to the new web page like this and this is just like the item and all the information right now is coming from a database dynamically basically there it consists of a JSP pages and based on the IDs of the products the, uh, the information gets updated from the database now you can view the gallery of any of the products now every product has an images so these were like the images of any of the product now images could be like you can add or delete all the images if you want at the end of the time if like if you want to search for any other product so you click a n g what were that angry birds all right so we get the angry birds product over here and as again the database information is coming uh, and the page is getting updated as and when based on the ID of the product name so now this project is right now in my github repository and basically this was like how a typical consumer of a website product uh, would be like so if I view this web page so this will be like all these images as shown earlier so if I if I would just click on this buy this item now so I have to just log into the website before buying any of the products so just have to log into the website uh, bef since I don't have a login so I have to register first over login so let's say dead uh, nigst7 at gmail.com uh, now password will be like a minimum 7 characters long uh, so if I register uh, you get a change in your top header bar uh, what you get is your cart items and as well as your email id if you click on your email id you will get the user info tab and basically if you want to add the images or if you want to add some information about yourself you can add on over here this page uh, this would be like saving you from the checking out step step uh, since you will be clicking just one click away from entering or on your address so if I just write my name as like Chirag P A N D I T Chirag Pandit and mobile number is like nine double zero four three double zero six zero. You can have uh, any of the addresses like B ten and blah blah blah. Uh, minimum you there's a category of that you cannot exceed forty five characters long. So you can just enter of your address where uh, so if you just update the address previously it was showing the email ID of this uh, client so right now it is showing the name of the client there's just a fundamental core logic behind that thing you can easily implement or you can easily view that thing all right so let's make a purchase now so assassin's creed uh, Assassin's Creed. I want to buy this Assassin's Creed. So right now the, I'm viewing this web page. I want to buy this product now. Now my cart has minimum 
one product in my cart so if I click on this product so the quantity is rupees 600 if I want one more item uh, so let's say Assassin's Creed once again let's say Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Auto for uh, as again I want to buy this product so my cart bean implements the same thing and the quantity raises and the overall price of the card just increases by 1000 so if I buy these products I get this checkout page if I click on this share this is my sh shipping address and add details so everything would be updated and I finally what I get is my billing information if I click on this uh, link over here if I click on the order number of my so right now the status is pending only the administrator of the shop can change the status of this product so you can see that this bill is just updated now since uh, if I would be like the administrator of the account so I can just view all those orders which were being previously added into my website and uh, being an administrator I want to just I would be logging out and logging in back again uh, with the administrator privileges back again so uh, to view the administrator you have to go to admin underscore dot gsp and the gsp page the initial credential would be there is only one or probably more than one admin right now and don't remember what the, what who are the admins uh, but probably you can just enter or add the administrators as you like so the one admin which I know is dead night 7 at gmail.com the password is as one two three four five six seven eight nine and just log into the website and you'll just see once again uh, there is a one more change in this first header bar you can see what you can have is an administrator link over here so right now when we click on the administrator link we can see everything every detail what an administrator wants to view instead uh, you can have the information about the website uh, instead of not having an analysis analytic google analytics page the entire analytics is being incorporated into the system uh, basically what it has is you can just view the products information if i refresh this thing on based on january 2013 based on january 2013 what you see is uh, you get a little bit spikes over here and all those items which are being delivered uh, on based on 30 days of the month all those items which were being uh, spent by the shopkeeper approximately for 4000 rupees expenditure was being done on day two so the administrator can just view all this information which is being which is impo important for the administrator the administrator can view all those products which are being top selling out f in this uh, in the store for example he can view all those games uh, right now the games are being selling out the most uh, and people are viewing the games as well so and the administrator can also view all the top 10 images or top 10 products which were been uh, selling out so as we s uh, saw that earlier we have just purchased some items so we can just view those items like uh, 16 items to be approved so the last item which we used to see we had GTA 4 as well as Assassin's Creed 3 so these were like the last item uh, that would have been uh, uh, taken as a granted so if you would be an admin and you know that this product has been confirmed so you just click on this checkbox over here and you confirm this order so that's taking that I approve these orders or you can cancel these orders as well so if you approve these order and change the product status then all the products would be in the approved orders list so all the approved orders come over here and as well you can just have the one more uh, the approved orders can be over delivered orders so you you can just go through this thing now comes to the next point is how do I just install this uh, project onto my system now basically my friend 
you have to just install a couple of things before having this product you must have uh, these three things uh, before you get started by the project so first of all you should have uh, prerequisites if you you should have a copy of a NetBeans and uh, you should have Apache Tomcat 7 and a MySQL database that's it and the MySQL database you get everything over here so right now I have installed a NetBeans 7.3 you can have 7, 7 plus so uh, minimum of 7 NetBeans 7 is required uh, to run this project uh, you must have a JDK before installing NetBeans and the Apache Tomcat with uh, a server uh, or a container for Apache Tomcat so and the last thing is uh, exam directory by which you will get a MySQL database <coughs> if you know uh, what exam is just google it out and download all those things which are required for this you, uh, externally you can just click on the corresponding links which I have been given on the website page so just download all these uh, product items so how do I just install this installing it is uh, basically installing these four things is pretty straightforward now installing your Apache Tomcat container if you don't have one so you have to go to servers tab services tab go to servers tab and click add server and uh, just click on Apache Tomcat uh, and s find your Apache Tomcat installation directory that is after extracting this directory you will get an installation directory that would be your installation directory so I over here data it was like I've just forgot this thing the directory okay so after uh, having that directory installed you can just link to your uh, NetBeans 7 installation and just after you have done everything you have to you can download this zip file I have downloaded that zip file over here in my downloads directory uh, this is the extracted file of the downloads directory you can have a look at it and that extracted directory you can just link over that to your NetBeans for example right click a new project or open project and go to the download section just this browse over there and click over the did not say that link over here that cycle bookstore app and just open that project so that project was being opened right now for me so you can just right click and run that project so what you will get finally is an entire application running onto your system so I think that this would be a le uh, quite lengthy video so hope you like this project and if you have any of these query just link below and just comment below me uh, below this video and I appreciate your viewing and thank you for watching